Hi everyone, this is Brendan here. So we just finished our war against CN and we just won the war with 83.74. And uh, as you can see, Supercell just added the Clan EXP Earn, which is a new feature, the Clan Perks, where you can gain EXP for your clan and level up your clan up to level 10. I won't go too much in detail as into it because uh, many YouTubers have already spoken on it. So as you can see, we have uh, gotten 210 EXP for our clan. As for my war bonus, I've gotten 1.2 million gold and elixir and 6,000 DE. So we will look at some of the attacks that I'd like to show you guys. The very first one is uh, done by our clan leader, Roger. As you can see, he attacked the very first base. So uh, this is uh, a fully maxed out base uh, with even a maxed out war. So going from the bottom left, using uh, his golems and even a queen. And some wizards to clear the structures on the outside, dropping the wall breaker to break through the wall. And now dropping the jump spell, trying to get the golems inside to get the mortar, at the same time luring out the troops from the clan castle. Dropping out his lightning spell at a very very nice placed spot, taking out the skeletons and also the witches. So now he's just uh, using the heroes to take out some of the structures. So at this point of time, as you can see, the queen has targeted like the wall, which isn't a good thing. I thought maybe she could go for the wizard tower, which would be a much better thing for Roger. So now uh, going for his air attack, dropping his lava and his dunes in a very strategic manner and freezing up the multi inferno and the air defense just before it could actually do more damage to the air balloons. And uh, now continuing the damage from the top right, and dropping a rage spell to continue uh, doing more damage with the balloons flying in to take out more of the defenses and then taking out the axe bow over there and also that last air defense which is going to go down soon so now continuing the attack just uh, using the balloons to take out more of the defenses just left with only one of the wizard tower and the archer tower to take care of the air so now just left with the lava pups taking out the defense at uh, the structure sorry so as you can see, another new feature that Supercell has added, you can see that the lava pups are spitting like a mini fireball. I re I'm really really happy and uh, excited to see this because this animation looks really really cool. Like as if uh, it's a small little breathing dragon, uh, these little pups. So I really like this feature that Supercell had added. Um, so just uh, thank Supercell for this uh, little animation but of course it adds more lag to our game but that's fine. It makes the game a little bit more exciting. So we proceed on to the second attack that I'd like to show you guys uh, on the fifth base done by Bai. So he's a really good attacker Bai. He usually do a lot of 3 stars uh, but uh, he's been a little inactive for the past few days. I think he was a little busy but now he has gotten back to clan war. So as you can see he's also using a stream strategy as Roger. Two golems um, and two lava hounds. So as you can see, going from the same side, taking out the Queen and also the Inferno. I forgot to mention that actually this is the second time we are fighting against uh, CN. Uh, the first time what I heard from my clan mates, which I wasn't around because I was still continuing donating my uh, troops to level up my account. They said that uh, CN basically just um, didn't do their attacks. Uh, they just basically like gave up their attacks and the, they didn't give such a good fight. But for this particular war, they really did not too bad, but um, we did expect that they would do much better because we did fight against one of their family clan before, VN champions, and they were really really strong. But nevertheless, this match was a really fair match in my opinion because at uh, the point of time when this uh, war was commenced, our clan was actually number 11 in the world, uh, and CN was at number 12, so it's just like one ranking away, so I feel that it's a really really fair match. So I um, hope that we will actually match with more uh, this kind of fair matched clans and not with uh, those uh, farming clans whereby it won't be that fun for us and especially the farming clan whereby uh, we will just uh, destroy their bases. We would like uh, more challenges definitely but definitely not to tough bases. Uh, war clans like in the dark or um, all those Chinese clans I think uh, we still need to train up our skills as Clan War to us uh, is not a very focused thing as uh, compared to a lot of other clans because we are like a semi cup pushing clan at the same time like a war clan altogether. But we will definitely uh, improve ourselves to uh, make ourselves better. So now we will look at the third attack done by Kiet also on this uh, base. It's a max defense base but the war's end max. 
the design of the walls are in an interesting fashion. So now using the queen to take out uh, the inferno at this part, he is having a little bit of trouble because the queen like, targeted some of the skeletons, but it still managed to take out the inferno. So now dropping his air troops on the right side, taking out some of the structures, including the lava horns, tanking the damage from the air defenses, which is a good thing. And then just continue destroying the whole entire base, dropping more balloons on the top left side, taking out a lot of the air attacking defenses. And then now the lava pups they are just continuing spitting the small little fireballs to destroy the base. So now just left with the cannons on the left side and the king on the right side, which technically is just distracting the pups as he can't attack them. So now just left with 30 seconds, I think this base is technically just going to be uh, over. As you can see, uh, it's going to be a real 100% 3 star. So yeah, that's it for the war. Now let's take a look at one defense and one attack replay that I'd like to show you guys. So this is the defense done by this person from Arrow Champions. Using a Lalumians on my base and uh, deploying his loons in not a very good manner in my opinion. Just using one finger to draw like lines. And then after that, deploying more loons on the left side. And then uh, just continuing destroying my base. But it didn't get his percentage that high, roughly to like 30%. And then after that, he was left with uh, 7 archers, 4 wall breakers, and his king and queen. With a lot of my archers from my CC to try to even take them out. So now he's trying to lure them to one side to probably take out my uh, archers. So at this point of time, he's decided to lure to the left side. So now using his archers and his king and also his queen to help out later to take out some of the archers. So now carrying on, he will try to get the 50% with like 17% left to go. And then now uh, using his king's rage spell and not a very good timing because the giant bomb just took out a lot of his barbarians. And then now the barbarian king has gone down, taking out a lot of the structures. As you can see now his archer queen is targeting my barbarian king and my barbarian king didn't even do a single damage to the queen. So at this point of time it was a really close fight for him now at 44%, the expo and the Archer Tower has targeted the Queen. Now cloaking his Queen. I don't think he cloaked it at the right time to be honest. Because he could have saved the Queen to do the last shot on that gold mine. As you can see if he had cloaked her like maybe 0 0.5 seconds uh, later. He would have gotten that um, gold mine. But nevertheless it was a good win for me. With uh, 24 trophies given to me. So now we will proceed to the attack that I like to show you guys. So this base has a rather similar design to the base that I'm using but the king is in the middle so I use my lava loons to carry on doing the attack and then just dropping the rage spell raging out my troops and then dropping the free spell on the wizard tower air defense and also the queen otherwise they'll do a lot of damage to my balloons. So at this part of time my balloons weren't going the right direction that I want them to go as uh, some of them has gotten uh, to the bottom. And uh, some of the balloons actually did fly into the middle to do a lot of damage to it, especially taking out the Infernos and the Expo. As now uh, the balloons have uh, gone back up to take out the Tesla as uh, there ain't any more defenses uh, on the right side to distract them to fly there. So as you can see at this point of time, the Town Hall is like almost down with just like, almost like one dot of uh, health left. So I was like, oh no, don't tell me I have to use my heroes because... I'm usually afraid to use my heroes when uh, the skeleton traps do not get activated by air and I know that the skeleton traps will be in the middle As, especially when the CC didn't come up with any troops so now I'm trying to lower out the CC looking at the CC there was only one barbarian in the CC which was kind of lucky for me so just carrying on an attack uh, dropping my king and queen so I know I just needed one shot of the town hall to get the town hall just my queen taking the one shot and getting us the win scoring us 19 trophies so that's it for all the rates that I'd like to show you guys today. So if you look at my top left, I'm at 4,459 trophies. So we will take a look at where we are on the local leaderboard. As mentioned yesterday, global we need like 4,520 trophies. So we are just 60 trophies away from getting to that position. So to reach top 3 in Singapore, we just need like around uh, 60 plus trophies. So hopefully be able to catch up even to Sharon Stone. So we will see as how it goes and uh, hopefully be able to do it within, within the next uh, few days. So just want to update you guys uh, my activities for tomorrow. As you can see on the top, I'm having a 1 day and 22 hour shoe. I just bought a 2 day shoe. I uh, just want to rest for tomorrow. Not going to 
push any cups because tomorrow is Sunday and uh, during weekends the cups is usually very bad to find a high cup spaces. So I'll be doing a little bit of a uh, clan visiting. I've prepared like a variety of troops, some Pekkas, Dragon, Weezers and Witches to go around to various clans that I have in mind to go there to donate some troops at the same time have a chat with some of the people over there. So if uh, you guys are interested in having me over to your clan to have a short visit and uh, have a chat with you and even your clan mates, do stay in the comment below uh, your clan name and even your clan tag. Your clan tag will be definitely much appreciated as that will be the easiest way for me to search for your clan. So that's it for me. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and also do remember to like and also subscribe and also share the video with your friends and clash on.